Hey guys, it's Tuesday the 4th of October and it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning. I have no idea what Smudge is trying to do, get in the bin I think. <laughs> anyway, uh, another video based on computer stuff mostly. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a bit late with this video for a few reasons. Well, one, I got busy this afternoon. Two, I was just feeling in such a crappy, pissy mood all evening, so I just vegetated in front of the PC. And three, I was actually looking for a power supply so we could test something. I can't find a damn thing anywhere. So, <laughs> anyway, um, I've been brainstorming regarding PCs and the shed over at Mum, so I'll talk about that in a bit. Um, just a couple of bits and bobs to show you and talk about, really, and that's about it. I've got some updates on a couple of laptops. Um, I got on a job lot oof, about five months ago now. Got to be easy that, five, six months ago. Uh, from a local car boot sale, actually. That was an Alisham car boot. I think I got 14, something like that. 12, 14 laptops, about 120 quid I paid for the lot. Most of them were... She is really sticking her friggin' claws in. She's been doing that all night. Ow. She's been a little bugger all evening. Now I've got a parrot on my shoulder. She can actually get off this worktop on her own. She actually jumps down. I don't think she would from something this high. Anyway, let's just get into the video. She's distracting me from what I was saying. I know it was something about some laptops. <laughs> we'll come back to it. Right, in fact, we'll start with the laptops, I think. Do you want to go on the worktop? It would make my life easier. Right, I'm going to start with an HP, which I've got over here. Here it is. We'll get to that video card in a minute as well. We move on to the desktops. I've got this nice HP 250 here, which um, was one of the many laptops in that job lot from the car boot. It's, um, well, actually, I've just got it back from a friend of mine that I loaned it to. You see, um, I built him a gaming rig for Christmas last year as a Christmas present. Um, but I could only give him one monitor because that's all I had at the time. I didn't have a, two of them. So I couldn't um, help him out with a, a dual monitor setup like I use. Because uh, especially for Twitch streaming and stuff like that, and when you're gaming, it's so helpful to have the two uh, uh, dual monitors anyway. Um, so for a while, he used his phone so he could read his um, Twitch chat. And uh, when I acquired all those laptops, he did ask if I had one he could borrow to look at his um, Twitch chat, because I, st I still couldn't find a monitor, they seem to be hard to find around here. Even at car boots, all I could find were, you know, just little monitors like this. I'd find them all bloody day. Anyway, so I said, yeah, I've got this one working for him. I threw in a little hard drive, something like a 160 gig hard drive, I think. Um, only had four gigs of RAM at the time. I put Windows 10 on it and he used it quite happily. It worked really well for that purpose. Um, but when I upgraded my own setup in the lounge, I got the, um, the extra monitor with the, the game rig and all those other computer bits from another friend of mine when he was um, getting rid of it all because he wanted to go to a Steam Deck. He's actually got a laptop now because his dad bought him a gaming laptop so <laughs> anyway I digress a bit there um, I gave him my spare monitor so he gave me this old laptop back um, and what I've done so I think it was last week I actually got this back I changed the hard drive for one of my SSDs that I got on eBay a couple of weeks ago and it's currently got um, 12 gigabytes of RAM installed, but it's only it's saying that only 11.9 gigabytes is usable. 
I don't understand why. And it doesn't matter what configuration I put these um, RAM modules in it. It just it says that it says you know that there's basically 10 megabytes not usable for some reason. I tried it with just the 8 gigabyte stick on its own, and it said there was 7.9 usable. I had a 8 gig and a 2 gig stick in there, so I had 10 gigs, and it still said there was 9.9 .9, um, gigs usable. I have no idea. I was told once why it does that. I know, going back to Windows XP, I know if you had a 32 bit X, uh, version of XP, it would only see 4 gigabytes max, even if you put more in there. Um, but with these modern machines, I'm not sure because I've got another laptop, completely different brand. It's a Dell, and it's doing exactly the same thing as this, and I have no idea why. I'm interested to learn why um, that is. I mean, the laptop works perfectly fine. Um, although I did go looking at the specs, and I think I may have read them wrong. That's the only explanation I can think of. I thought when I read the specs that it could only take 8 gigabytes of RAM max. But it's currently got 12 installed and is working perfectly fine. And it's, like I said, it's recognising the 12 gigs is there. Even though it's saying only 11.9 is usable. Um, so, either this would be a slightly different model, you know, a later model than the one I was looking at, maybe. Or, I read the specs wrong and it actually meant it's 8 gigabytes max per DIMM slot. Because on the Dell that I'm going to show you in a minute, it's actually, it does say in the specs it's 4 gigabytes max per DIMM slot. So 8 gigabytes total. And I did confirm that because I tried this 8 gigabyte stick in the Dell and it doesn't work. But it does run 8 gigabytes because it's currently got a um, 8 gigabyte kit on it. Oh, if you're wondering what that is, that's just a little lamp that I taped in the corner. It's literally just a little USB lamp. You can get them cheap as anything on eBay, and they're actually pretty good, to be honest. I just plug it in at the end of a USB cable, taped it up there, and I just plug it in down there. And when I'm in bed watching Netflix with Madam jumping all over the bed, <laughs> and the window ledge, and running around the floor, and God knows what else she's doing. I'm going to sit in bed, chill, watch Netflix, or I can put the TV on and chat to um, my friends on Discord and whatnot. So that's what I use this one for. I don't really need 12 gigabytes of RAM, but I thought, well, I've got it. Why not? <laughs> um, it is only a dual-core processor, though. It's got a Windows 8 um, sticker on the bottom. So um, yeah, it's quite a capable PC. If you want to know what the um, processor is and you want to Google it, I have actually got it written down. It's a Intel 2020M dual core. Right, the next one. Now, in that job lot, I actually got three of these. Well, two identical and one a slightly different model. Oh, sorry so much. I've got your paws. Bless you. Don't jump off. I hate it when you do that because that is such a drop. Oh, that made me cringe. She's not hurt herself. and She's done it several times, but it still just makes me cringe when she does it. So I'm just frightened she's going to hurt herself. You don't know what to do with yourself now, do you? Anyway, you're distracting me. So, yeah, this one that was a slightly different model, that was a bit too far gone and not really worth repairing, so I just took it apart for spares and used a couple of the keys off the keyboard on the other one of these which is currently over at Mum's because I've been using it over there. Um, <clears throat> I was going to say don't go off that way you'll end up in the recycle bin. As funny as that would be I don't want to fish you out of the bin. <laughs> Come on I'm going to put you down on the floor. There you go. So, um, yeah in two minds whether to swap it with this one because the keys because the key on the slightly different version of this that I broke for parts the keyboard was different it had one of those um, finger mouse knob things in the middle of the keyboard I can't remember exactly what to call it um, so there's like a little curve in the corner of the H key which is one of the keys I needed for the laptop over at mum's 
And the problem is because the keys are slightly different, the H and the Y key they click together because they rub together. So it's, I can type with it, it's just annoying as heck. Um, I might just pop the H key off actually because I'll know from the space that the H key is meant to be there. It's still perfectly usable. But uh, yeah, anyway, neither of them had batteries. Um, and the most RAM I could put on either of these was 4 gigabytes because that's all I had at the time. Anyway, last, no, two weeks ago rather, I went on eBay, bought a couple of batteries, and so they've both got brand new batteries now. Um, and this morning, or well, yesterday morning I should say, some RAM kits arrived. I bought two 8 gigabyte kits. So there's two 4 gigabyte RAM modules in here. I've already put two in this one, so this one is upgraded. Like I said, 8 gigabytes is the max for these laptops. And these are 10600s if I remember correctly. There's the other anti-static bag and I think the seller has actually got another kit. I'm tempted to um, look into getting as well just to have a couple of spare because I don't really have any decent DDR3 RAM spare. Tacking my laptop charger cables. Yay. I can show it working from the battery. There's not, no magic, it's not plugged in. The charger's actually in the bedroom. Because the Dell charger that fits this actually fits the um, HP as well, so I've been using it for that. Because obviously these laptops, none of them came with a power adapter. And of course, before I got these, I went through all my adapters, so I had one adapter per laptop that I had in the collection. I didn't think to keep any spares, did I? Oh, actually, I did keep a few Dell spares, but at least one of them was dead for some reason, because I tested them all. Here we go, it all works. Uh, yeah, this is actually an SSD out of a laptop I was using a while back. A laptop that I broke because I got in a stress one day and slammed the lid down in temper and smashed the screen. <laughs> so I then got even more ratty with it and just took the RAM and hard, uh, not hard drive, the SSD out and threw the rest of the laptop. <laughs> um, actually, I think that's where this that 8 gigabyte stick in the HP came from. So yeah, I didn't even have to put Windows 10 on it. I just threw this SSD in and had a working laptop. Wee, sweet. I could actually sign into Discord and everything if I really wanted to. But the processor on this one, I've got it noted down as well. It's an i5 and it's a 2430M. And I've already Googled it just to find out, you know, how many cores it was. And it's a two core, four threads. So it's a hyper threaded processor. Ooh. Now the one I've got at Mum's has actually got four gigabytes of RAM and that actually works really well. I don't really need to do the upgrade on it, but I will, just because. So yeah, two laptop. There is a third one. <laughs> um, pain in the ass this one. Now, the friend I got the um, other gaming rig off off and the monitor and that box of random computer stuff from, he sold me this the other day for 25 quid. Uh, I originally traded this with him. This is another one that came in that job lot of laptops, this little geo book. Um, now, it was on Windows 10 and he up managed to upgrade it to Windows 11 and was using it perfectly. Um, but because his dad bought him a laptop and he wanted a, um, a controller to game with, but he didn't have the money, he just thought he'd sell this to me for 25 quid because what the controller was going to cost him. Um, so he was, when he bought it over, this was running and he was in the middle of running the reset, the factory reset. Unfortunately, that's not worked. I can't show you at the minute because the battery's gone dead, so the battery on this doesn't hold charge. It was only a few days ago I was playing with it. But um, it's just sort of stuck in a cycle. It just won't do anything. 
you get the little geo coming up on the screen and you just get a swirly thing and that's pretty much it, that's all it does. Uh, and it might go into automatic repair but it won't do anything with the automatic repair so um, I thought easy solution let's put Windows 10 back on it now in the BIOS there is no option for an, you know, a USB CD drive because obviously there is nothing no CD drive on this you have to use a USB um, pen drive you know, not a memory stick a bootable one. I did have one on the worktop somewhere, but that's disappeared as well. I seem to be magically disappearing tonight. Oh, here it is. That's just a little 2 gig, so that's not big enough for Windows 10. But I have made one up. This gave me the um, reason I've been looking for to actually make one up. So I know the one I made actually does work. But when I plug it into this, and I press F7 to bring up the one-time boot menu, and I select it in the list, it just refreshes the screen, that's all it does. It doesn't actually boot from the drive, and I don't know why. Like I said, I know the um, pen drive works. I've tried it on another machine. Um, just to see if it would boot from, you know, if I could, if I wanted to, if I could, I didn't actually install Windows from it, but it, it brought up the um, thing I'm a bobber so I could do it if I wanted to. So I know it works. It's just not working from this thing for for some weird reason. It's a bit of a shame, really, because I quite like it. But then again, I do like small laptops like this and computers. I've got quite a few um, small profile PCs. Are you going to try and undo my bloody shoelaces again? <laughs> She's got a habit of doing that. She plays with them, but then pulls on them, and of course that uh, undoes my laces. Right. Yeah, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the geo book. Um, I could sling it on eBay, spares or repairs. Someone out there might know what uh, needs to be done with it. I don't know. I might play with it a bit more though before I decide to do that. Right. I think we can move on to desktops now. So. In a couple of previous videos, I did show a PC that I'd built uh, using a case that I got from a yard sale for just two pounds. The motherboard wasn't anything special really, it was just a gigabyte that had the um, dual option RAM, you could either use DDR2 or DDR3. Um, other than that, it was actually a good motherboard. Uh, what did I throw on it? 550 watt power supply, 64 gig SSD and a 500 gig hard drive. And it was running Windows 10, which I'd also run all the updates on. So it was a fully functional PC. It could have just been used as was. Or the potential to perhaps make a low-end gaming PC if you wanted. Um, so I thought, well, as I've already got four gaming machines, technically, <laughs> um, that one, I'd say, is probably a lower-end gaming machine, but it's a sleeper, this Dell. What is it? An Inspiron 3650, for anyone wondering. Um, I thought I'd actually put that one up on Marketplace and sell it. So I did. And uh, I don't know what it is with uh, Facebook Marketplace, but... Um, it's almost guaranteed that every time you list something... I've got a bike up on there at the minute. No replies yet, because I did it quite late uh, this evening. But I can guarantee, when I get up in the morning, I'll probably find some messages. And they're going to be one of two, I think. It'll be, you always get those that will message you about it. You know, they'll click on the default Facebook message, which is, um, is this item still available? You'll reply yes, and then you just don't hear nothing else from them. That used to bother me, but it doesn't anymore because I thought I, I was being quite a hypocrite because I have done that a couple of times as well to people. So, <clears throat> you know, what goes what goes around comes around or something like that, or karma, that sort of thing. <laughs> anyway, um, 
So you get those. That seems to happen all the time, at least once. And you also get the obligatory scammer as well. I say obligatory because I can guarantee that every time you put something up on Marketplace, you're going to get at least one. You know, they'll ask you, they'll start off perfectly normal, like they're making a normal inquiry, like is the item still available, blah, blah, blah. And then they'll drop it on you. I'll send a courier with money to pick it up. Couriers don't carry money. You can't send a courier with the money to pick it up. I can't remember how the scam works exactly, but I think it, somewhere during it they have to ask you to send them some money so they can send the courier or something like that. <clears throat> Yeah, that's just an instant block when I get them. Although, if I'm in the mood, I do find it funny to call them out as a scammer because that's the quickest I see anybody leaving a chat room. <laughs> as soon as you mention it, boom, they're gone. <laughs> so, yeah, if I just want to giggle just to see how fast they leave the chat, I will call them out on it, but otherwise I just block them. But, yeah, anyway. Going back to that desktop, I got those, but not really any other interest apart from one person here in town, not too far from here actually, um, just offering some various items for trade. And at first I was like, yeah, I don't really want to, I'd rather have the 45 quid or even 40 quid or even 30 quid, just something for it. <laughs> don't care. <laughs> Offer me a bit of cash. <laughs> um, Anyway, I sort of thought about it for a while and I thought, oh, I don't really need the laptop he was offering because I've got enough of those. <clears throat> um, but he was offering a GPU as well, an older one, but quite a nice one. I actually quite like it. It's weird. Is Does anybody else out there just like the look of like motherboards? And GPUs, you know, no, just the overall look. Because some, that's one of the reasons I've kept some motherboards, because I just like how they look. <laughs> but I'm the same with some GPUs, like this one. I, I like how this one looks. It does work. I have actually tried this one, so it is a working one. So he didn't con me. And I didn't con him, because the PC was fully working. And he was telling me in um, DMs that he just wanted it for a few bits anyway. I'm guessing he had another project and he was just looking for some cheap bits. <laughs> <clears throat> so, yeah, this is, if I can read it off the end, um, a GT7600 with 256 megabytes DDR3 RAM. Dual DVI TV PCIe, made in China. It's got a warranty there, which I think is out of date. Tenth. I don't think it's as old as that, but it's got 10 slash 06, whatever that means. I'll just slide it out of the box and show you. See what I meant? Uh, well, they do make GPUs look quite nice, don't they? I actually quite like the colour of the DVI sockets as well. I don't know, maybe I'm just a bit of an electronics nerd, a bit more than I think I am. Because I don't know what it is. I don't like the look of like just any old circuit board. It just seems to be certain things like motherboards. If I had my way and I had more walls, I'd probably have hung some up on the wall. So yeah, I got that. He also threw another one in as a freebie. Um, and also he asked me if I had any spare thermal paste, which as a matter of fact I did. There was um, a tube like that in all that computer stuff I got from a friend which had about that much in it, something like that. So I gave that to him because I've got full tubes and whatnot up there, so we oh, didn't need it. But yeah, he gave me one this as well. <clears throat> Unfortunately though, I can't get this one to work. And oddly, I've actually got another one of these which is in one of my other Dells. It's in, um, one of my Dell Optiplexes, I think it's the 760, which is the one with DDR3 RAM. If memory serves correctly, I've thrown it in that one. But yeah, this one I can't get to work. I want to try the DVI 
DVI. The HDMI on it, that's the only output I've not tried. I've tried VGA, no output. DVI, no output. And I've tried this on multiple motherboards and a few different desktops as well. But like I said, the only, one, the only output I haven't tried is HDMI, but I've got a feeling it's going to do exactly the same thing, just output nothing. But I want to try it, I just want to be sure before I bin it. Most people would just bin it. It's not really worth anything, I don't think. <clears throat> yeah, so... I've actually got a box of, or my box of uh, laptop adapters down here. I've got them out of the cupboard because at some point in the near future I want to get all the laptops down from the um, top cupboard in the bedroom and actually go through them again. Because uh, at least once a year I do like to go through them all, just refresh my memory on what I've got in the collection, refresh my memory on what works, what may not work, make sure, you know, none of them have actually failed while they've been up in the cupboard. Perhaps replace any BIOS batteries if I can, that sort of thing. So. I'm going to do a video on that, but when I say a video, I think I'm going to have to split that down into two, maybe three, because I don't, I don't want to go on for like six hours. Because that would be quite a slow process. <clears throat> Anywho, while well, we're still on the subject of desktops, I can explain why I've got my little Dell sleeper up here as well now. So... As I've got a shed over at Mum's, I thought I will add a few more benches in there. I was going to make sort of an L shape. I mean, the, I've got one made out of an old door at the minute, which um, takes up like two thirds of the back wall. And I was just thinking of continuing that the rest of the way and then go down the end wall. So I've got like an L shape of benches with proper storage and things built underneath. That's what I want to do. Um, I wish I'd thought of this before we um, dumped a load of old wardrobe sides and things. <laughs> I could have made it with that. Uh, never mind. I'm sure I'll find another wardrobe or something somewhere to make it with. <clears throat> so, I was just thinking that um, <laughs> you know, the Wi-Fi will reach to the top of Mum's garden because she hasn't got a very big garden where she is now. And in the conservatory, she's got one of those BT Wi-Fi booster disc thing, repeated disc, whatever you want to call it. I've got one when I renewed my contract with BT. That was all part of the package. Um, obviously, being in a flat, I don't need to use it, so it's just sitting in storage somewhere, I think it's in a box in the outside cupboard. So I thought, why don't I set up one of my mini desktops, you know, it's not like I haven't got enough to choose from, in the said shed, and I don't know, perhaps I could do some live streaming from there, here on YouTube, or even Twitch, or both, or, um, you know, make little videos there. I was thinking of just getting another little um, HD web camera. I wouldn't go any for anything less. I've got a web camera here, but it's it's not actually an HD one. It's not brilliant. So I did have one that had like little LED lights on it that lit up. I don't know if I've still got that one, or if I threw it out, or if I've hidden it up somewhere. <laughs> no idea. Someone's got a big old horn on their car. Perhaps they're just feeling a bit horny. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> so yeah, that's why I've got this one out. Because I was um, going to choose this one. It's got built-in Wi-Fi, 120 gig SSD, 500 gig hard drive. That should be plenty for what I want to do with it. I mean, this has got enough capability to edit the sort of videos I do as well, so I can do that. Make little videos while I was over at Mum's and whatnot. 
Um, yeah, so that's my plan with that one. I, don't... I mean, I've got two other PCs down here. I've got the i7 and that AMD gaming rig I got off of a friend of mine, but to me, I think they're overkill for what I want. And being much bigger cases, they're going to take up a lot more room. I was also thinking of actually taking a few of the computers that I don't really... Well, what I want to keep, but I don't want them kicking around here. I was going to take those over and put in the shed. I've already cleared that with Mum. She's happy for me to take things over and store in the shed. Which is good, because I've got a stack of traffic cones from the shed downstairs. I want to put in, um, in there, because I'm doing my crust in getting in the way. Um, right. Oh, yeah. The monitor that is currently laying on top of the Dell. It's an LG. Um, and I have got the power supply for it, but I can't find it. I've been looking for it all day. That's one of the other reasons this video has taken so long for me to actually start. Um, but when I last tested this, after I actually put all the back on, because that will come off, um, there was a line going down the screen, I think it was over this side of it. So I thought, well, maybe, as it got dropped and the back had all popped off, maybe it loosened up the ribbon cable here. So I thought, I'll reseat it, power it back up, and then see if it's fixed it or not. If not, then I'll probably get rid of the monitor. Because obviously I'm going to need a monitor over it. Um, the shed at Mum's. I've got another one, but I'd have to get a wall bracket or something for it, which isn't a problem. Ow! Ow. <laughs> ow and ow. I don't know if she's just being a bit more rough with her claws today, but or if it's just because she's getting bigger, but they really have hurt today. And I've actually had her for three weeks now. It'll be a month this coming Saturday. Thank you. Sticking your claws in my neck. Oh, you want to come back up on the worktop, do you? Here we go. Are you just upset because Daddy's not giving you any attention? Mm -hmm. Or is it because you know what the time is and you're saying, Daddy, go to bed? <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to have a dig around for the um, power supply tomorrow. I've looked all over the flat in here and I can't find it, but I know for a fact I've got the um, adapter for that. It's actually got LG written on it, so I can't miss it. But I've just been through all the likely places in the flat where I may have thrown it. But I haven't been in the outside closet because I've got a couple of boxes of bits in there, so... I may have thrown it in there when I've been clearing up. But I did find something I'd forgotten about, that I forgot I had. And that's this GPU. A GTX 280 with 1 gigabyte GDDR3 on it. Yeah, completely forgot I had that. BFG Tech. Oh, it's got GTX 280 written on it though. I don't know why I wrote it there. I was trying to sell that at the car boot sale, but no takers. I was surprised at that, actually. Yeah, I found that, and I fact forgot I had this thing as well. Isn't that? You ever see a little fan like this? It goes into your I.O. thingy at the back. Which I was actually thinking of uh, attempting to fit to that Dell on the worktop. Um... Well, simply because the only fan it's got is the one on the back. Not that I really think it'll need the extra cooling because I'm not going to game or anything on it. Uh, I've got to try and find power from somewhere in there. I don't really want to cut into wires if I can help it. Yeah. I don't know. We'll see. can't even remember where that came from. I've had that for years. I just want to find a power supply for that thing. Nope. Not in the drawer. <coughs> the 
move the camera so you can see it. There we go. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? You've just been a very playful little kitty today. You're driving me up the bloody wall. In fact, I've noticed that I have got scratches and things appearing all over my arms. When I was in Sainsbury's, I was actually looking in their pet section because I thought, you know, I'll get her a little toy or something. And all I've got at the moment are Christmas themed bloody toys. And I thought, no, it's a bit too early for that. <clears throat> so, um, maybe tomorrow, which will be Wednesday, I will uh, go in the pet store in town and see if I can find something for her. Mm -hmm. Would you like that? See what I can find her. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Gonna bug me until I find that power supply now. It's not gonna be anywhere up on that on those cupboards. I've tried the cupboard here in the hallway, I've tried the one in the bedroom, I've tried all the drawers in the lounge, up by the window, I've looked everywhere here in the kitchen, because I was thinking, you know, maybe I kept it somewhere near this. <sighs> No idea where it is. I've actually got some drawers in here that I haven't looked in, but I doubt it's in there. Are you comfortable on there? You can be curled up there. You're just getting tired. Daddy's getting tired. <sighs> I guess yesterday morning I was taking a bit long to wake up. She sat on my face, or laid on my face I should say. Didn't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe they're right. <laughs> I think. Due to the fact that I'm yawning a lot at the minute, I'm going to shut the video down here. So, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. I'm going to say goodbye to everyone. Meow. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> say bye bye, YouTube. Meow, 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 meow. No? Alright then. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching everyone. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye!